Hi there, I'm Kelly from Made for Medical. Today we're going to talk about Staph aureus. Let's start from the very beginning. Bacteria are divided into two types, gram-positive and gram-negative. Gram-positive bacteria are further classified as cocci and rods. The cocci are then classified as Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Staphylococcus has got some protective proteins to defend themselves. These include protein A, which binds to the antibodies and inhibit them. Thus, antibodies cannot destroy Staph aureus. The other one is coagulase, which forms fibrin strands around the bacteria. And the last one is penicillinase. These provide protection to the bacteria against penicillin. Now let's talk about the toxins they produce to cause the diseases. These include exfoliatin, which causes scalded skin syndrome, enterotoxin, which causes gastroenteritis, and the toxic shock syndrome toxin, which causes toxic shock syndrome. We can do two types of tests to diagnose staphylococcus in the given sample. The first one is sputum sample test. When we do gram staining on the sputum sample, we'll see gram positive or blue cocci arranged in clusters if staphylococcus is present. The second one is blood agar test, and we'll see golden colonies in the blood agar as in the picture. These bacteria have penicillinase, so we need to use penicillinase-resistant penicillin, such as nafcillin or dixloxacillin. Alternatively, we can use cephalosporins and vancomycin.